The names Andaman and Nicobar are taken from the Malay language. The name Andaman is presumed to be derived from Hanuman, who was known to the Malays as Handuman. The name Nicobar seems to be a corruption of the South Indian term Nakavaram, land of the naked, as indicated in the Great Tanjore inscription of AD 1050. The most widely spoken language on the islands is not Andamanese or Nicobarese. The most widely spoken language on the islands is Bengali followed by Hindi, Tamil, Telugu, and Malayalam. Andaman Creole Hindi is also widely used as a trade language in the Andaman Islands. Kachal, a tiny island near Nicobar was virtually unknown till the Royal Greenwich Laboratory declared that it would be the first inhabited place on Earth to catch the rays of the first sunrise of the millennium. In the first postal issue of the year 2000, India Post issued a commemorative stamp depicting the first sunrise of the millennium at Kachal. The largest sea turtles in the world nest here. Andaman and Nicobar Islands have India's best nesting beaches for three species of marine turtles, hawksbill, green turtle and world's largest sea turtle, the leatherback, Dermishles coriacea. The nesting population of leatherback turtles in Nicobar is one of the few colonies that exceeds 1,000 individuals in the Indo-Pacific, and is hence of global importance. North Sentinel Island is home to one of the most isolated Paleolithic tribes of the world. North Sentinel Island is home to one of the most isolated human populations in the world. The Sentinelese, thought to number around 300, have rebuffed all contact with the modern world and fire their arrows at anyone who comes within range. They are thought to have directly descended from the first human populations to emerge from Africa, and have probably lived in the Andaman Islands for up to 60,000 years. Dugong, the gentle sea cow, is the state animal of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Large, plump marine vegetarians with short, paddle-like front flippers. The gentle dugongs can be found grazing peacefully on sea grass in the warm coastal waters of the Andaman and Nicobar Island. These languid creatures, also called the Angel of the Sea, can be spotted at Ritchie's Archipelago, North Reef, Little Andaman and parts of Nicobar. Pandanus or Nicobar breadfruit is a rare fruit found and widely eaten in Nicobar. Pandanus is a densely arranged, wedge-shaped fruit that has an immensely hard, woody and fibrous body in which several narrow, edible seeds are embedded. Each section has a fleshy base that contains an aromatic pulp that, after cooking, is a staple food in Nicobar. An economically important plant in the islands, the stem branches of pandanus are used in construction, the leaves used for weaving mats and the hard exterior of the fruit is used as a bathing brush. Commercial fishing is banned in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Commercial fishing has been banned around the Andaman Islands for more than four decades. It is believed that in these waters, fish now die of old age. The turquoise waters surrounding these emerald island teem with an abundance of dolphins, whales, dugongs, sea turtles, sailfish, sea anemones, and other marine life. The only active volcano in India, the Barren Island, is present in Andaman Islands. Barren Island is the only active volcano not just in India but the whole of South Asia. Located approximately 135 kilometers northeast of Port Blair, this small 3 km wide island contains a 1.6 km wide crater partially filled by a cinder cone that has been the source of eruption since the first was recorded in 1787. The largest living arthropod in the world, Burgus latro or robber crab, resides here. The robber crab, Burgus latero, also called the coconut crab, is the largest land living arthropod in the world. They generally live on land, but at nights climb up the coconut trees and carve a hole into the tender coconuts to eat the soft kernel. In South Asia, the highest numbers of these huge crabs are found in the Andaman and Nicobar archipelago. They can be spotted on the South Sentinel Island as well as on some islands in Nicobar. The extremely narrow limestone Alfred Caves are home to swift-lit birds that make edible nests. The limestone Alfred Caves of Diglipur change their shape every monsoon due to a chemical process. These extremely narrow caves are home to the swift-lit birds that make a unique edible nest. This tiny brown bird uses its own saliva and attaches its sticky home as a little cup against the most inaccessible places on the cave walls. Limestone caves with stalactite formations can also be seen at Baratang. The 20 rupee note depicts a scene from Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Ever notice the scenery on a 20 rupee note? The image of a picturesque bay lined with lush greenery captured on the red colored note is the North Bay Island and the same view can be seen on the way to Mount Harriet. Mount Harriet is the second highest peak in the Andaman and Nicobar archipelago, a penal settlement, including the dreaded Kalapani Jail, Cellular Jail, was established here by the British after the revolt of 1857. Andaman and Nicobar Islands were so remote that they became the dreaded Kalapani penal colony for Indian freedom fighters under the British. The Cellular Jail was built to disconnect the prisoners from the outer world, 
The prisoners were kept in solitary cells and made to work for long hours on a hand-driven oil extractor made of iron. Today, the jail is open to tourists, and has a light and sound show in evening. Little Andaman has two island waterfalls, white surf falls and whisper waves, that are straight out of a storybook. There are two beautiful waterfalls on the Little Andaman Island, the White Surf Waterfall which is 6.5 km from Hut Bay Jetty and the Whisper Wave, which is 20 km from the same. One can take an elephant safari or trek through the verdant forests of the island to reach the pristine waterfalls.